only jam you'll be needing today is the jam of lucky time explosion that you're going to smear on your bread. Wow. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. It is Monday. What day is it? It doesn't matter anymore. Who's this? Oh, we've, my God. We've got a floating bread in the studio. We have some special guests. We have Bread Slug and Krusty Hall. <laughs> That's right. That's true. I, I love you. That's great. Hello. Great names, guys. So I'm, I'm Bread <laughs> Slug. I'm Krusty Hall. Now, are you an actual slug? I'm actually um, a bone slug. It's a slug, but like with bones and mm. the bread just got attached to me. <laughs> nice. Excellent. Beautiful. So, bread slug, for those who are uninitiated, uh, is an artist working in the medium of bread. That's right. So most of your work, or if not all of it, is bread, right? Yeah. For the past year, uh, we were working on a series we called The Daily Bread, where every day we would work on a new slice of bread. Uh that's awesome. Cool. What's what's your process? How do you so how do these breads start? Like what's the deal? Um they would come from our uneaten loaves of bread that we would just dry out and then preserve in resin. Um and Is there a specific brand of bread that you you rather use? I don't like Wonder Bread. You don't like Wonder no, Bread. No, I don't like using oh. Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread um <sighs> it smells the worst when it's dehydrating. Mm. Um, and I, I don't like the way it absorbs the resin and I also don't enjoy eating it. So, but it seems very soft and I would probably like to wipe my ass with it one day. Right. <laughs> but right. that's the next time I'll be buying and Wonder Bread. You haven't done that yet. No. It not seems yet. like it would be really pleasurable. Soft. But, but you know, it's a messy situation, but at least a toilet's right under you. So it's like it works out. You know what? I'm tantalized. <laughs> we have experiment. We have homework. We have homework. We have yeah. homework. So what is your preferred choice of bread then? What is, what is your go-to bread? Um, honestly, I like, as far as working, the bread, to, my favorite bread to work with is usually the cheapest bread that you can get from the grocery <laughs> store. Um, it tends not to mold even two months past its expiration date. I would think that would be Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread? Be, uh, is it che- it's not too cheap, is it? It it gets a little moldy. Oh. And it, uh, it yeah, it's, it's uh, pricier than some of the other generic white bread. <laughs> you know your breads. Yeah. yeah. No, I have a whole uh, book of uh, bread brands and... Can we get a sponsorship from Dave's Killer Bread? Let's oh, do that out here. I still yes. need a sponsorship from a bread. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, yeah, somebody sponsor us so we have motivation to get back into doing the Daily Bread Project because we uh, dropped off and... Uh, no. We want daily bread. We <laughs> want daily it is, bread. It is a really hard thing to keep up a daily practice um, <clears throat> that's like specific. I did like a lot of stuff on TikTok and I was trying to do daily videos, which lasted really well for like a few months. You, but You were doing the AI? Uh, it wasn't AI, it was VR. Oh, the VR. That's right, VR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got into VR painting a little bit recently. Oh, nice, Ooh. you did. Yeah, just, just for funsies, we just uh, set up my uh, Quest, uh, Oculus Quest recently, and I bought a, a VR painting game. Wait, wait, did you get painting VR? Or um, was it Vermilion? It was some Google-sponsored one? Some Google Was thing. it Tilt Brush? Yes, but I, and I thought of you. Oh, I thought nice. I, yes. I thought of you when I was painting in, Okay, in you got Okay, you got to give me your... Um, you got to give me your uh, meta tag so I can gift you painting VR, okay. which is like the best painting Ooh. app ever. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I, d- I don't even know where to start. I was just like playing around in there because usually I was uh, painting in VR chat, which. Oh, yeah. 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 Do you yeah. ever go to the life drawing rooms in VR chat? What's the weirdest thing you've ever seen in VR chat? Um, myself in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just I think it's just the culture of VR chat is just really weird with the, all these people dressed in like sexy little anime girls and like with staring at themselves in the mirror and just like flexing and uh, like posing. Oh, there's, there's furries also. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, the furries. Tons yeah. of furries in there. The mirror dwellers is what yeah. you're talking about. The mirror dwellers. They have a name. Oh. Yeah. It was a whole thing because like the culture of VR chat wasn't always like that. And then they introduced Quest. Uh, I don't know if the, the, they call them the Questy. So if you don't have like a full on VR rig, you're like not cool. It's uh, uh, like I me mean, neither. I'm not cool. I just I'm have, not cool. I have a quest. But the questies are the ones who all, all flooded in and then um 
there became this phenomenon of people just staring at themselves and their avatars in the mirror. So you go into like a room with all these amazing people in crazy costumes, and they're all just kind of like sitting around the mirror. Like you know, funny enough, we, before this we were talking about roid rage. Uh, because two, uh, he's going through it. There's two like, different, well, there's two different types of roid rages. Right? Yeah. There's the one that you get from, you know, being muscular, and then there's the one that you get when you have trouble downstairs. Um, <laughs> you don't get roid rage from just being muscular. They're taking steroids right. to you become muscular. Both. Right, right. And yeah. I was talking about earlier, oh, we have live art going on. Oh, yeah. We have, this is the, actually the first How? time that we have live art happening. We should do that on, more often. We, we gotta, totally I, should. I should have put a, a camera up here to put on the green screen. How many pieces of bread do you think you've made? Um, in the past year, we have over 300. Wow, yeah. Very impressive. That's we got awesome. to like 200 something without missing a day. 237 without missing a day. And then wow. once we missed a day, then I knew I'd just like fall off the wagon and it would be really hard. So it, we did 237 consectively and then it, wow. it, we, it took us like six months to do the rest to get to 300. That's still an Very accomplishment. Impressive. And like having them all together, you, you know, just dis you display them all together. Have you, have you ever put them all in one room, one um, on wall? Uh, we, yes. We, we had 80 up at once at Ooh. one time. And now those are all hanging up inside of our apartment basically too. Like Nice. <laughs> so was it uh, at Alte? Because That's right. Morgan <laughs> uh, curated that show. Oh, that's so right. Cool. So uh, a while back, there is a dispensary called Alte. It no longer exists. Long, dramatic story. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, over the last year and a half, um, any vacant commercial space turned into a dispensary and yeah. a weed shop. So now it's, you know, very easy to get marijuana. But then I, I realized all these pre-rolls are bullshit. And it's probably Delta 9 and some grounded up like ants and dirt and shit. And it, Probably it started ants. getting me, I started feeling a little bit nasty and sick. So I went back to buying the, you know, just going right to the natural bud. And if you have friends out there that grow, go to them. Yeah, don't look, buy look what it did to his shit. arms. I know, I don't even have <laughs> arms anymore. Yeah. Wait, you can't see them. I just raised my torso nub. <laughs> But, so uh, bread yeah. slug. You're obviously bread slug because you're you're slugging out these breads. Yeah, that's actually why. Do I do I dare ask where how Krusty Hole got his name? Um, <laughs> do I want to know? <laughs> surprisingly, I don't think my hole's that crusty. But I was I was looking for like the most offensive name that would stick, and there was also like an overlap with this uh, crime novel from. Norway or something. There's a series. One of the movies is out there with Val Kilmer called The Snowman. Oh, wow. But, Getting a backstory here. But the main character in that book is actually called, non-ironically called Harry Hole, but it's spelled <laughs> H-O-L-E. I guess it's a common last name over there. Okay. <laughs> and I thought it was so funny that it just inspired me. Nice, nice. And are you also working in... I see you got a burger in front of you. What's that about? Yes. This is one of my more recent breads that I did, I was inspired to make something that would make you feel like a bad bitch. Like I just imagine, mm -hmm. I imagine all the looks you would get on the subway if you broke out this compact mirror. That is epic. Oh uh, yeah, that is cool. The other side says fuckable. Uh <laughs> <laughs> nice. You know, so uh, in case you didn't know. It reminds yeah, yeah, me yeah. of uh, Silence of the Lambs. He grabs his nipple ring and he's like, I'd fuck me. Yeah. I, I something have, like that. I actually have videos with this specifically with uh, Goodbye Horses playing. Goodbye <laughs> Horses. How? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry. <laughs> That's to. beautiful. We love when you sing on your... How much resin do you think you guys go through? Um, uh, That's... Four to six gallons a year. Ooh, that's pretty so good. Much. Yeah. Um, Where do you do it? You do it in your house? Do you have like roommates? I know it stinks to high hell, right? <laughs> um, we use a, a low odor uh, resin. We do it out of our one bedroom apartment. It's the Ooh. two of us living together. So it's, our apartment is just basically a, an art studio with nice. a bed in it. So if anyone's going to come, they just got neighbors. And they, what are they going to do? Yeah, then nobody knows what we do. We don't. I, we've been living there for a couple of years, and honestly, I, I don't know a single person who lives in our neighborhood, and I don't know like any of our neighbors' names. Sometimes we smile and wave, but that's it. Is it isn't New York <laughs> weird like that? Like, I feel like it's one of the very few places I've lived that has like that attitude with neighbors. Like, they just 
you'll live next to somebody for 10 years and like see them every day and like you'll not know their name yeah i just what ha- they do i just have a few and few that will hold the door and the only thing they say to me is thank you my friend <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting yeah i always see people on the way out from my building and there's like it's like nod, it, it, yep. give me a look, like don't talk to me. But I, I mean, have you ever have been friends with your neighbors in the city? That happened to me back in Brooklyn when I was living closer to Morgan. I guess you guys live out there in Bushwick too, right? No. Where are you? We're in uh, Kew Gardens. Oh, okay. You're in Kew Gardens. Nice. How do you like it down there? It's honestly like a, a little piece of solitude in the middle of everything. Like mm. it is weird. You go north or south like 10 minutes and you feel like in the city, but in the middle of it, it's actually pretty quiet. That's nice. It's so chill. I wouldn't live anywhere else. I never wanted to move to the city. Mm. Even when I was in the city, I was on Remington Street and had like a little patch of quiet. It was the same way. as like you go a few blocks either way and you're at Essex Street and Ludlow and it's crazy loud, but then it can be nice and quiet. Yes. Yeah, that's not like where I live in the middle of Bushwick. You yeah, live yeah. in you live in the, the zone. I live Myrtle in the Broadway. zone. I've it's been the, in the same place for close to 13 years, which is pretty crazy for someone who lived in, uh, you know, Bushwick. I've always been in Bushwick, but in this one particular space. Everyone, li- everyone <coughs> moves like once a year here. Yeah. Right off of the Myrtle Broadway uh, JM, which I call the um, Bermuda Triangle of Brooklyn. That is the worst subway stop to get off of. It. It's scary. <laughs> <Disorientating>. <laughs> a few days ago, it was taped off again, and I didn't know why. But there's always something going on over there. People like squirming in their own liquids on the floor. You know, those Do sorts they still, of fun stuff. Is there still like the uh, swap meet under the stairs? They, I think a lot of those people have been passing away quickly. Susan, the, I know. Like, I think well, that's why I called her Susan. She was like the lady who like ran that. Store. My name is Susan. Nice to meet you. Come touch my feet. I'll pay you <laughs> a rock or a pebble. <laughs> that would be awesome if all of a sudden everyone just decided to be like, you know what? Let's use rocks as currency. And just like grabbing <laughs> fucking rocks, throwing them in little fucking bags. Well, that's you know? what I'm hoping will happen with my bread if I can use that as currency one day. I was going to say, A, it's well, already that's... named bread. B, there's a limited amount of them. They're pocket size. So they would make the perfect art currency. Oh, we even have we have even smaller ones. Yes, small. You have mini, mini breads. breads. That's right. I have, I have one on my keychain. Oh here. my god, it's a mini bread. <laughs> what 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 do you this guys crusty. have coming up? What what projects do you have? Anything exciting to tell us that you have coming up? Any uh, secrets? Well, it's not really a secret. Um, right now we have art in Mystery Mart's art vending machine, which is in. Brooklyn Art Cave. So you know what artist you're buying from this art vending machine, but you don't know what you're going to get. So we have some full-size breads in there. Um, but Mystery Mart is always looking for new artists. I'm and looking new for locations. some mystery bread. Yeah, I want to. I want to get in that machine. You got to get in that machine. You, you invented bread gotcha. You got bread gotcha. What's what's. You know, gotcha. It's like the when you have the. It's a Japanese word about like when you have like you don't know which art you're gonna get, and you don't you don't know uh, what thing you're gonna get. You're gonna pay like five dollars for an egg that'll have one of like eight designs in it or something. That's gotcha. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just like that, but it's with bread, and it, it bread. it's not gonna go moldy. It's, yeah. It's just, but maybe it will. How, no, it won't. How quickly won't. would someone die if they ate one of your art pieces? I like to. I think about that a lot, and. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Because people always say, like, oh, I, I want to eat that. I want to put that in my mouth. Um, <laughs> You're like, go for it. I'm pretty sure that would rip your insides up if you were able to chew it down. Like. Yeah, I think cracking it in half would be the hard part. I mean, I'll, like, I'll eat this one right now. If no. <laughs> I have dreams of breaking teeth. I can't. Yeah. We're going to eat the one on your face. Oh, no. please! No, that this, is your face. This is, well, actually, this is Scrandle. This is Scrandle? Yeah, his name is Scrandle. Um, he was in a music video once. He's kind of famous. But what was the music video? Um, Word Up by Cameo. It, uh, I had it on TikTok before, too, but that one got taken down, but it's still up on Instagram. Why was it taken down? I don't know. There's music right violations or something. Um, we, do don't, you, we don't know how TikTok works. What do you think about the TikTok ban? But you're not you're not up on this? What? No, I'm not. So they're they're currently discussing banning TikTok again. They were they were oh. talking about it during Trump's time, but I thought you said TikTok banned like music. Oh <laughs> no, like the ban, like they want to get rid of it. Oh yes, I, I've been hearing that for like years though. Also, I feel kind of the same way, but uh, I hardly use it as a platform, so it really would make no difference to me. If anything, it'd probably be more helpful to have more users back on Instagram. But <laughs> yeah, I guess <laughs> so. 
I think that's what Meta is hoping for, is that it goes through so that they can just uh, get more people back on their stuff. Oh, I just I just remembered some things. Yeah? I remembered uh, what what new things we're actually working on. Oh, sweet. Tell us about your new bread <laughs> or, right, or, on, or other projects. There we go, baby. All right. <laughs> and one, two, three. Tell us about your new bread project. <laughs> well, we, I, I'm working on more of a, a cohesive little series I like to call self, self-preservation. Um, we've been collecting our fingernail and toenail clippings for the past year in a jar. So I'm planning on putting those on a bread and I have all um, a bunch of little bits of myself that I'm going to put on a bread. Nice. Um, we've got uh, all the, I've been collecting shower hair drain, shower hair drain, shower drain hairs um, for the past year. I got uh, all the cockroaches that my cat kills. Um, Are you like just in jars at, at your studio? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, gotta, I, I don't know where the cockroaches are. I told I told Red Slug to put them somewhere where I don't have to see them. And honestly, I'm afraid about just opening up something one day and having them spill <laughs> out on me. Red, <sighs> Red Slug, did you put them in Krusty Hole's pillowcase? <laughs> Is that where you're keeping them? Uh, <laughs> that would uh, make some sense to all the crunching they, I hear. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. the, the, <laughs> yellow, the yellow d- underneath the pillowcase. The yellow pillow is full of cockroach legs. That's not buckwheat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, that's awesome though i mean that's interesting I, I feel like you could get some um traction for that project by having some people online be like this is satanic they're using their body <gasps> parts and like you know and like get, get some uh get some of that good rage bait or just yeah. straight disgust Did I, got, you, yeah. I got pubes <laughs> <laughs> nice. You gotta have the pubes. Yeah, gotta have pubes. Years, you know, years of pubes. Degenerate bread artist. Well, Brett Slug puts actually made pubes me, on bread. Made me a, a bread because you know we've spoken about this on on the show before about my penis collages, but uh, I have yet to do it. But she made me a glory hole bread. Ah. And it's still it will be used. <laughs> that's the most. I swear. I, I I guarantee you that's the most support you've ever gotten for your penis collage project. Yeah, no, they believe in me and my penis. <laughs> so I, I do. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we support this man, Schlongola. <laughs> there may or may not be a glory hole bread already in the Mystery Mart vending machine um, formed by Krusty Hole. Nice. Oh, yeah. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for somebody to buy that one because you, you never my, know. It, you get I, some I went sort of sick it. pleasure out of it. I went through it. Yeah, there, there is some kind of sick pleasure. Well, the thing is, <laughs> that after it's it. covered with resin, it's a, it's you know a little bit rough on the edges. Trying to pull it through the hole could be a little bit damaging. Sand it. Scraping. Oh uh, yeah, he he made this while the bread was still fresh. Nice. Yes. Nice and soft. Yeah. No, that would be pr- that would be very brutal actually if it wasn't that way. It's like a it's like a bread light. Instead yes. of a flashlight, it's a bread light. Oh yes. lord, that that is okay. a goal. Okay. That is a goal. Mutual oh, um, masturbation uh, bread devices. Uh, it's that's oh, going to be so part of the uh, bread slut. Um, is this for? Are you making this up on the on the fly, or you, this is for real? Oh no, this is for real. I have, <laughs> no, these are just. I, I have so many ideas. I have like hundreds upon hundreds of ideas that I just haven't gotten the time to make into reality. Just because I'm like you know. I start. We started working again, um, full time. There's only right so now. much time. Yeah. There's only so much time. Are all of them related to bread? Are they all bread projects? Um, no, we have some uh, other non-bread related projects um, with like sauce, um, all, mostly food. <laughs> Tell me more about bread slut. What is bread slut? Bread bread slut. Um, well, uh, did you know that in ancient, was it Greek or Roman? I don't know. Ancient times, bread dildos were a thing. There's yeah, people used uh, bread as dildos, so we're gonna bring that back. Damn, but what if it like breaks off inside? Um, you can absorb it, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I mean, I do yeah. this. I hear about this stuff in prison. <laughs> there's that one. There's that one. The influencer who's like on a whole spiel about pl- stuff in prison. You know her? She's like, a, she spent three years in jail, and now she keeps posting about like hot dogs and gloves and stuff. <laughs> oh, uh, we have we we can do hot dogs too. No, but um, I got, I want to make some body safe. I've got to make the bread body stuff. I've got to do it right. I'm not going to give someone a yeast infection. Ah, oh, bam. That was awesome. Is there body safe resin? Um, I don't believe so. <laughs> so I want to get into more uh, playing with more materials. So we have a lot of experimenting to do. Nice. Get in the lab. Yeah. The bread lab. Get in the bread lab. Yeast lab. 
Yeah. Oh, um, something else is I really I've been this is something I've been talking about for months and months and I keep saying like, oh, soon, soon I'll, I'll have it by the end of the month. But no, it's um, I've been wanting to do a full loaf, a collab loaf um, called 20 Artists, One Loaf. So the loaf of bread will be one theme where each slice will go to a different artist to collaborate on com- com- making a one big loaf together. There Love you it. go. Love it. It's, it's bread that will bring the world back together. Yeah, it's break, you know, breaking yeah. bread. Breaking bread, breaking bread with, each bread each with other. your friends and then um eat, not eating it, just uh <laughs> just looking at it. Yeah, just look and licking it. Molding, <clears> and <throat> licking grabbing it. and touching and squeezing the bread. Yeah. Morgan, is that your goat Goatsy 2.0 profile. No, that's my neighbor. <laughs> that's my neighbor, Al. Th- that's uh, definitely a bread I wanted to make also. Goatsy yeah, we bread. should we should all collaborate. I have a, uh, one of my best friends, Al. Uh, he's my neighbor, and we hang out almost every day. And uh, he, he's a phenomenal musician and artist. Great guy. And uh, we'll probably have to have him on at some point. To know? apologize for doxing his Goatsy account. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, well, the, the reason it's called Goatsy 2 is because Goatsy 1 was uh, erased. Yeah. <laughs> Instagram was like, yeah, no. But now he's he's rocking and rolling. That 2 made all the difference. <laughs> I only just found out that Goatsy was an, is an acronym. I did not know it was an acronym. For, what? What's an acronym for? Um, Guy opening... Asshole to... Sh- I can't... Oh, how do you... What's Goatsy? To Go- show everything? It's... Show everything. Guy so, opening asshole showing everyone. I, I can't. To show that. everyone. To show everyone, yeah. Oh. That just changed my life. I don't like that he was, it was to show me. I thought it was like his last name. Like Mike Goatsy. <laughs> Dr. You know, Goatsy. Like Freddy, Freddy Goatsy. <laughs> I, I honestly never thought about it. I just went like associated. I know what that means now. That means. Interesting. Beyond gaping, you know. Yeah, it, did, it definitely did get its own definition afterwards. Yeah, it became the meaning of that, I think. Mm-hmm. It's one of those things, you know. You know, it's it's wild that, like, these people, you know, you have, like, you know, Abraham Lincoln, uh, you know, like, um, crazy people in sports, and they're like, Goatsy. What? <laughs> it's just like, you oh, know. What list are people, those three things together? What I'm are you just talking about? That they, <laughs> these are people, like, there are certain people that, like, will go down in history. It's just wild that, like, you know, he is there. He he is known. I don't know if he's like, going to be in school curriculum. As a celebrity, curriculum. a small time. Yeah, he may not get into school <laughs> He curriculum. may not get into the school curriculum. Early, although these early internet memeage, I'm sure there'll be a whole. I mean, memes. There probably are, should be. Well, the thing is, is like, you know, I, I, I don't know if you ever heard of the book called Meme Magic. No, you have to, I have to read it. Basically how like memes changed the path of reality like the the whole thing is like they memed trump into pre- presidency with memes right, right but there's a book specifically called mean magic but they made a documentary about it it's definitely worth looking into it's wild how like that can shape you know people's perspective i saw something with trump becoming president too having to do with the writer strike back in the 2000s because the Apprentice wasn't going to get renewed for another show, but then they lacked content, so they renewed it. And after that season, it started picking up in popularity, so it could be argued that him becoming and remaining popular is due to the writer's strike. Mm. What the? <laughs> man, there's so many conspiracy theories, it's wild. I definitely think his oh, popularity wow. from The Apprentice is what allowed most of the country to like consider him a reasonable person to leave. Because he's on that show all the time on the end of the big uh, table, you know? He's like, well, he's already the president on my favorite show. Why not be the president of the country? It makes sense to me. I mean, it's true, though. People are simple like that. Yeah. <laughs> you guys seem pretty much uh, plugged in to, like, internet stuff. You guys like internet memes and internet art? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the bread thing is uh, is very memeable, though. That. It's true. Yeah. I mean, if that happens, it will happen without you. Yeah. Mostly. Where do you go to see art? Control. Um, I. Uh, where do I go to see art? I like yeah. to. I see art in person. Um, sometimes it's, it, it's hard. I see art at work. Um, they used to do, um, you know, framing, but like we were, I was doing the framing for you know like Christie's and Sotheby's. Um, so I got to see a lot of like really expensive original art right under my nose. 
And how did you uh, manage to work and frame there without any hands? You're a floating piece of bread. Um, <laughs> I used my tongue. I made. I like dried my tongue out. It, it was really dry. I put a little white glove on it. Mm, that's awesome. Um, little finger condom on your yeah. tongue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a very small tongue. It's like a, the size of a pinky finger. Just imagine this floating piece of bread running around in the back of Christie's. You know, what do you accidentally get trapped inside one of the packages? Yeah, it's. <laughs> you, have you ever been accidentally shipped anywhere? Uh, one time, I ended up on uh, in the in the back of the the Andy Warhol that's sold at Christie's for almost two hundred million dollars. So nice. That was pretty cool. I do want to mail a piece of bread so it actually goes through the U- United States postal system. Oh yeah, just stick a stamp on it and send it. And then I, someone else sends it, and then it just continues to like gather stamps. Yes, exactly. Oh, cool. oh, I love that. Wait, who sh- who should we uh, send this to? Oh, that's a good idea. Does one of your listeners want to yeah m- receive a bread in the mail? Yeah, comment your full address and social security con- <laughs> uh, number below in the comments. Yeah, with your we will send card. you some bread and your credit, credit card, card info. Number. Make sure you get the three digits on the back. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. But if you do want a piece of bread, uh, you can DM us or DM Bread Slug. Yeah. Oh, we'll my help facilitate God. it. Oh my God, it's been done. Did I? Did I? Did I? Spell Let's give everything? them a close up. I think so. Let's do close up. That's awesome. I, I honestly, I can't, see, and I can't see, and I can't see. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take a picture of that and put it up here on the green screen behind us, so you can see this amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. Explosion bread. Oh my god! This, this might have to be the new logo. That's we, we'll have to use it. At it's some pretty. Point. Well, it's pretty is, awesome. Once I uh, take it home, I'm gonna preserve it in an extra coat of resin, and Excellent. then um, I could uh, frame that up for you real nice as a gift. Ooh. That would be wonderful. This I'm one, feeling this, all sorts of different ways inside gonna, my brain. <laughs> you can put this in your head in your brain for, I'd switch forever. I'd gladly switch my real brain out with that l- piece of bread <laughs> like, it's like the new Neuralink but <laughs> affordable yeah. we gotta get in touch with Elon Schmuck yeah and tell him about the bread chip I would do it you know I always said if I if I could put my phone in my head like a toast piece of toast I would do it you would do it I would do it oh that would scare me yeah I'm already I'm, I'm for it I'm plugged in I'm I Cyber just want to go to sleep forever Oh, yeah, yeah relatable. <laughs> just, just get rid of all your autonomy. Indeed. Yeah. We got about a minute left. Is there anything you guys want to plug? Where can people find your bread work? Where can they follow you? Where can they can um, see your site? We are um, Bread Slug on Instagram. And then also we do have some available for purchase at breadslug.com. But if you see any breads you like just dm us because we are really bad at keeping up with our website (laughs) um we're gonna have more breads oh we also have some breads available for purchase at basin gallery and red hook there you go but then also again mystery mart at uh, uh, brooklyn art cave very nice go out there go to mystery mart and grab yourself a gotcha bread vending machine bread yes do it. All right. Thank you, Krusty Hole and Bread Slug for coming on. Thank Till you next for time. Thank you. Yeah, we'll have to have you again. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for listening to Lucky Time Explosion. Watch the video edition on Patreon, a green screen extravaganza experience available exclusively to official Lucky Timers. This episode was recorded at Sola Studios in Manhattan, New York, helping artists make cool shit since 2016.